Rich Homie Kwan, the Atlanta rapper who rose to fame in the mid-2010s with hits like Type of Way and Flex Ooh, 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 has died at the age of 33. The rapper, whose real name was Dequance Devante Lamar, passed away in an Atlanta hospital, according to the Fulton County Medical Examiner, as confirmed by the Associated Press. His death was reported on Thursday, though the cause has not yet been disclosed, and an autopsy is scheduled for Friday to determine further details. Quan was a major force in the hip-hop world during the 2010s, particularly with his trap singles that dominated the airwaves. After releasing several mixtapes, he broke into the mainstream in 2013 with the infectious track, Type of Way. The song's popularity led to remixes from major names like Jeezy and Meek Mill. Quan continued to build on this success, featuring on a track with YG and Jeezy, and joining the Rich Gang Collective alongside Young Thug and Birdman for the hit Lifestyle, produced by London on the track. His follow-up single, Flex Ooh Ooh Ooh, produced by DJ Spins and Nitty Beats, became his highest-charting solo track, peaking at number 26 on the Billboard Hot 100. Quan also made waves with his feature on Lil Dicky's viral hit, Save Dat Money. In 2018, Quan released his first and only studio album, Rich As In Spirit. The album, which showcased his growth as an artist, mostly lacked features, with the exception of the single Think About It, featuring Rick Ross. The news of Quan's passing has led to an outpouring of tributes from fellow artists and fans. Musicians such as Quavo, Lil Boozy, and Playboy Cardi paid their respects on social media. Singer Jacquees, who also honored him on X, formerly Twitter, referred to Quan as a legend and expressed his grief, saying, Rest in peace, my brother rich homie Quan. I love you for life. Despite the fame and success, Quan's career hit a lull in the late 2010s. In a 2022 interview with the Associated Press, Quan discussed his plans to return to music after an extended hiatus, attributing the break to litigation with his former independent label, TIG, Think It's a Game Records. He expressed excitement about a comeback, ready to reclaim his place in the rap game. During this period, Quan also addressed his former relationship with Young Thug. Although the two once collaborated as part of Rich Gang, they had a falling out, and Young Thug, alongside rapper Ghana, was later indicted on charges related to George's RICO Act. Despite the history between them, Quan spoke openly about the situation, insisting there was no lingering animosity. He expressed his sadness at seeing Young Thug behind bars and remarked on how rappers are increasingly targeted by law enforcement. I wouldn't say unfairly targeted because at the same time, some of these rappers are putting guns in videos and, you know, it's like social media. It goes back to the social media thing, Quan said in the interview. He further explained that while artists have the freedom to express themselves, there's a fine line when it comes to incriminating imagery. I think we're showing too much. I think they're showing too much, he added, stating that he's careful about how he presents himself in his music. Rich Homie Kwan's untimely death marks a significant loss for the hip-hop community. Known for his smooth delivery and introspective lyrics, he was a defining voice in trap music during the 2010s. Fans and artists alike will remember his contributions to the genre, as well as his honesty about the struggles he faced throughout his career. His legacy will undoubtedly live on through his music and the impact he made on the culture.